Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Serious Strategy Game, and we are returning to Command Modern Operations. Things are escalating between Russia and NATO here. We've just sunk the ship Moskva down here in the Black Sea, which I think must be probably the third largest ship in the Russian Navy. Must uh, have at least a complement of a couple of hundred people there. So that's a pretty big deal. Of course, the Russians had previously sunk uh, one of our, I think, the Sullivans. Um, an Arlo Berkey class uh, destroyer, so yeah, things are uh, escalating pretty well. Now, this time around I want to focus a little bit on what's happening in the Black Sea, but we're also going to focus a little bit on Ukraine itself. So, uh, in the Black Sea there are a couple of developments. Firstly, um, up over here in the eastern part, we are currently uh, sending two bombs against uh, these two ships. Not sure whether they're going to actually make it, uh, but we're going to try that anyway. But more importantly, we've spotted quite a large number of cruise missiles here streaming um, towards what I presume to be targets in Romania, uh, given their heading. We don't know that exactly. Um, we ha do have some time to react to that. Um, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to try to bring in these uh, flights that are around over here. Well, maybe not you because only you have sightwinders. Uh, but you guys are going to try to intercept them and at least shoot down a couple of them if we can. Um, let's try that anyway. I don't necessarily think it's going to be successful. Uh, but we're going to try that. So let's go on a somewhat lower altitude here. You know what, medium altitude might be fine. I don't want to be too close to being engaged by the uh, surface to air missiles in Crimea itself. Um, probably we won't be able to engage them here, but once they come out of the radar coverage and be over here, we might yet again shoot be, uh, be able to shoot at them. Uh, we've also got a single missile here streaming towards uh, HMS Duncan, a Royal Navy ship that's down here. <clears throat> I would very much like to shoot that down. So let's in fact bring you guys over um, and attack these guys here with your AIM 120C missiles and you should actually use your radar in doing so and I would also like you to be on a somewhat lower altitude let's try to intercept that, that would be great uh, you guys are, I think you're trying to intercept this aren't you? that's not gonna work on this on this course here so let's try to bring you more like like here and then you actually need to come in a lot lower I think you do have enough fuel to actually try that, so that should be okay. Right, we also uh, just launched a helicopter here to take care of the spy ship. Um, let's see whether that will work. We've also got a couple of submarines here. That's all kind of nice. Now, our Italian uh, aircraft, uh, the Tornadoes, uh, which just sunk the Moskva, are returning to base now. Uh, I think some of them are actually going to make it to their base. Uh, these guys, unfortunately, currently don't seem to do that. So they might need to refuel, but also, on the other hand, they're pretty low. So that range should actually be higher, but probably around twice that, so 600 miles. Yeah, you're 900 miles away from base. So yeah, let's let's see what's going to happen there. Uh, we are... I think that's the most important things that we're doing uh, at the very moment. So let's see how that is going to work out. I think I would like to attack these guys here. We've also got a big, big strike coming in for Crimea, but it's probably not going to happen until probably around 3 o'clock, uh, 3 p.m. So let's see. What I would like to do though is maybe send these guys against the ships that are remaining up there because uh, well these guys do have joint standoff uh, ammunition and we could use them in our strike against Crimea. They only have a range of 45 miles and I think it's kind of dangerous to try to get that close to them. So what I would very much like to do is is try to take out these ships. So, big question is, are we going to send everyone in or just a small part of that? And you know what? I think we're going to try to launch these guys as a group so that we've got more guys covering that. Now, lastly, on Ukraine itself, the plan for this time around is going to be to try to attack some of these Russian forces, Russian ground forces in Ukraine. Um, as far as I can tell, most of the Russian uh, fighters seem to be withdrawing, so we might have a good opening here. And in fact, we do have a couple of F-16s coming in from their bases in Italy. Uh, they're going to need to refuel, uh, but then they might be able to strike. So what I'm going to do is uh, send the F-35 um, up in this direction so that we maybe can cover that a little bit better. But right, that's uh, almost it. Uh, the thing is, I would like to get more air cover over Ukraine as well. So in that sense, we're going to launch a couple of um, a couple of Eurofighters here from the Italians to uh, try to cover that. They're going to need to refuel on their way, but that's fine. Um, let's try to get them here. It's going to take two hours or so uh, for them to be there. So better launch that a little bit early rather than too late um, to make sure that we've got some coverage at the very least. Right. 
That is, again, almost it. Um, I think I would also like to take out one of our... No, it's not the Eagles, it's the Growlers. I would like an offensive OCM aircraft over Ukraine as well, so we're going to launch you guys too, bring you up over here, and that should be nice. Good. I think that's it. Oh, no. Last thing. Last thing. Very last thing here. So uh, we do have a ship somewhere over here, these guys, and they should theoretically be able to engage these troops here, but they don't. Uh, they can't do that because the harpoon here is not loaded on a mount. So these guys do have certain mounts and that's just not what is uh, currently loaded on there. And I think it's the Mark 13 Mod 4 single rail. And you can see they currently are carrying some rim missiles, so service to air missiles. I would very much like to uh, you to take the harpoons uh, on that mount. So we're gonna ask these guys to reload that. I'm not entirely sure how long that's gonna take, but at some point you're gonna be able to do that. Let's start the game over here. We are sending some missiles down there. We are, I think, spotting more missiles over here. That's sort of to be expected. Not a big deal. Let's see how these um, bombs are going to do. Don't think we have too much to worry here about um, the Ukraine itself. Uh, although... Oh, surface-to-air missile. That's not good. I oh, know, it's just uh, attacking our... Air. Yeah. Attacking our bombs, so that's going to be a tough target there. It's not going to be easy to take that down with just a single bomb. Didn't really expect that either, but that's fine. Now, here's my problem chart that I've been moaning about a lot, these Gripens. It's kind of difficult to get them into, into action. Uh, they basically have a bingo fuel range of 100 miles, so at that point they will basically return and, and guzzle up some fuel. They've just been refueled, mind you, uh, from this target, so they're 175 miles away from that. They've got 100 miles more, and that's it. So then they would need to return, that's around about here. So that's kind of really pointless, so I think I would much rather bring it back to base. That's going to be within your range, so I think you should be able to do that if you just come straight down here. And then, no, actually you're based here, right? Yeah, that's well within your range, and that's fine. We do have a couple of further aircrafts here, including one of the Hungarian Gripens, which we're forward base at this point. Um, and I think it might be useful to send these guys off to actually intercept these vampires here. Um, but uh, this is around 160 miles away from where you're currently based so these guys are 300 miles so we've got some time uh, but soon we're gonna launch them uh, one thing that I did off uh, camera is launch these guys over here in oh there we go that's a hit on the spike right off there more missiles are coming in from the helicopter how many missiles have you got launched you've got quite a couple of them so that's nice to see yeah, but more and more cruise missiles. These are, these are going to be really difficult to shoot down just by the amount of stuff that we've got here. Right. I'm really hoping to send down that, that spy plane. Uh, I'm also kind of hoping that you would actually target the, uh, the missile here. Why are you not doing that? Come on, that should be well within range. Weapon cannot engage target for another 13 seconds because of some training loop. Fine, but at that point I would really, really like you to do that because otherwise we're not going to be able to intercept them. Come on now. Why aren't doing anything? Odd. Right. More missiles. Yeah, it's all of these missiles over there. And um, guys, can you can you come up here and, and try to intercept that? And you guys, what are you doing? You're coming home? Oh yeah, yeah, you've got the sight winders anyway, so that's that's okay. Um this is this is starting to worry me a lot. How about you guys? You've got some missiles. Okay, I'm gonna bring you up north because um I just think that you do need to target this guy. We really don't want to lose another uh ship here. If it can be avoided. Okay, there we go. Two missiles sent out. Probably there's going to be a third one, but at this point, I think that's actually fine. Yeah, that's these missiles. Good, good, good. They are coming in. Um, how about you guys? Have you? Yeah, okay. You can fire your harpoons now, so that's that's kind of nice. Uh, we're going to wait for that to be a consistent strike, I think. You know what? We might just want to test that out. So, um, ooh, there's actually five ships. Oh, the Moskva is still around. The Moskva is still around. I did not see that. I thought we had we had gotten it. No, it's there. It's still there, and it's not showing any signs of damage. 
I was so sure that we had it. Ah, oh, that's too bad. Okay, um, guys, so... 2,000 knots, we should be able to intercept that guy. Okay, let's let's think about how we're going to do with that on the Moscow side. Um, also, Duncan, I did tell you to turn off your radars. Uh, I thought I did, at least. Um, that hasn't happened for now, but... Soon you should be doing stuff against this guy. Well, I think I think we're gonna well send guns at it basically. Um, let's take a look here at the air weapon range. So you should soon at least be able to engage these guys. You're technically within enemy um, range, but why are you going so high? You shouldn't be going so high. Try to stay low, please. Come on. Okay, most important thing is down here. These missiles do need to intercept. Well, we are pondering that spy plane as uh, spy ship, but only by... Nice, okay, well done. Good, um, that means you guys can return home. Thank you. You guys are hopefully at least going to launch there soon. Um, you should probably use your radar for that though. Things in Ukraine, pretty quiet for now. Something is down here, probably an anti-air uh, loadout. You guys are doing things over here, that's all kind of okay. Sending all of you over there, that's that's fine. Uh, I did send you out, didn't I? Yeah, you should be, you should be starting to launch momentarily. Oh, that's disappointing. I was sure I was I was reading that wrong, but I was sure that we had the Moscow covered. Um, guys, don't come in to try to machine gun them, please. That would kind of be a very stupid idea. Okay, Duncan. Duncan, why don't you engage these guys with your 140 millimeter gun? Gun has no local control and no available directors. See that I don't understand because your sensors are all on. So that must be some sort of glitch within the database. So that Duncan cannot actually use its main guns. Which is kind of silly. So even though that's a waste of a missile, I am going to send an Harpoon missile here. <laughs> Except we can't because it's too close. Well that's fine, we're going to drive away here, and uh, sail away rather. Um, and at some point we're going to um, reach them there. Right, uh, aircrafts are being launched. Uh, that's this flight here with the j -source. Cool. Let's bring you up here. We need to be within 40 mile range, so that's around, ooh, around over here, I suppose. Yeah, let's, let's say there. That's going to be all right. Um, have we launched these guys over here? Yeah, we have, so that's nice. Um, let's bring you over here at least so that you can refuel. There we go. It's coming up nicely. Our strike from uh, the UK is now crossing Germany. Which of course they uh, famously in the last weeks did not. Because uh, the, uh, the UK actually prefers to fly over Denmark and then Poland towards Ukraine. Which is kind of odd, but okay. Right, so there we go. Finally a missile being launched. Now Putin against this ship. That should hopefully uh, deal with that. Um, and I'm kind of wondering, guys, why are you not trying to engage these missiles? Can we can we sort of try to do that? You don't have a firing solution. Well, we're going to try that anyway, and then we're going to double check whether you do have sensors on. You do. So it might be that you're just a little bit too low. So you're not getting a radar reading on these guys. Let's try to pop up a little bit. That does risk uh, being engaged by these guys here, but we're gonna see. Okay, finally the spy ship has uh, gone down. Come on guys, 40 miles. How can you not target them? Maybe we're going to try to uh, target them with our IR missiles as well. We're going to see. Uh, further aircrafts being launched, is that true? You guys down here, who are you? 
An airborne early warning platform. Um, yeah, let's get you. Let's get you into the fight. Uh, probably the your fighters too. Yeah, guys, get up there. Right. Okay, and I'm finally very worried about what's going on here. Firing must obtain target solution. High quality track before firing. But he's 30 miles out. Is that some sort of stealth stealth thing on them? Now we're going to go back to low altitude here because at this point we really shouldn't be constrained by the radar range. Got the wild balls over here doing their jamming thing. Got an F-22 circling around over here. There are a couple of vampire missiles here which we should try to engage at some point but they're so far within their engagement uh, envelope that I really would feel a little bit more comfortable not doing that for the moment. You guys are all meeting up there with the tankers, that's that's cool. You guys are returning home I suppose. Uh, we've got the growlers over here. Um, let's bring you over Ukraine please. And let's ignore that there are some drivers there. Okay, finally I do see some missiles being launched here, nice. If we are going to use our um, our infrared missiles, that's going to take a while anyway, so should be okay. Um, you know what, you guys are currently assigned to the anti-submarine warfare thing, right? So let's unassign you from that, because I think um, everyone here thinks that you are kind of capable of doing that. Um, okay, you know what, um, you guys, get over um, our cruiser here, Duncan, to try to intercept these vampires. And I would actually suppose that we can turn off our stuff here to maybe not be targeted by these missiles quite as badly. We're actually going to turn around here for a moment. Maybe they're going to miss us completely. Because I don't think they should have us uh, within range. So let's see. Okay, uh, more missiles coming in towards these cruise missiles there. That's good. Yeah, but the Moscow was really, it's really tough not for us to crack, but yeah, what can we do? Okay, more missiles uh, being hit here, that's nice to see. Um, SAM missiles I dislike to see. So we've got surface to air missiles coming in for Bronze 7, I think. You are well within uh, the engagement envelope. Let's try to get you out of here. So, go fast, go low. Probably the best choice that we've got. This flight is sending out infrared missiles now, which is good. And the only thing is, once he has fired off all of his missiles, he is very likely to actually uh, pop up, try to turn around. That's kind of not what I want here. Right, let's get over there. You know what, I wonder whether we can actually try to gun them down with our 20mm uh, guns. Now what's your, what's your altitude? Like 200 feet. Okay, um, let's try to get that low too. And let's try to try to gun them down. Again, a little bit World War II style, but if it works, I'm going to be happy about that. Right, you guys are all tankers, that's fine. Everyone is converging where I want them to be. Yeah, lovely. Good times. Right, let's see. So, let's try to follow the, this fly path. Yeah, I think you are firing. Nice. That's, that's ideal. That's exactly what I want. Not sure who's firing missiles against these guys here, but someone is. You are. Who are you? Typhoons. That's odd. That's odd, because these missiles have no chance whatsoever of, of reaching there. So why would you be doing that, I wonder? Huh. Odd. These missiles are going to patch her up. That's an odd bug. Um, and I'm apologizing for the noise here, because that's really kind of... Kind of ah. Okay, but... You only have four salvos left, so that shouldn't take too long. Well, 
at the very least, you know, we are doing we're doing good work here, I think. Basically culling these these cruise missiles, but it's so many of them. We haven't really made a dent in 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 this at all. Come on. Come on, just just fall off the last ones here. Yeah, there we go. Don't hit your body though. That would be kind of awkward. Come on, last salvo. I'm really not sure what you did here, guys. You can just return home. And you guys, at this point, also don't have anything left. So let's make your way over here. And at this point, you can go back to a high altitude. Thank you. Uh, but not where you're currently at. Right. Really odd choice there. You guys, you can you can happily fire them, I think. Duncan, um, didn't I send you around? Okay, you're now engaged defensively. Let's have you provide some cover there. Ukraine, still looking, looking silent-ish. We finally got our first aircraft coming at least somewhat close to this guy. Uh, although it has been a couple of uh, minutes since we did that. So let's try to do, lay some, some Cerner boys here because I want to find out where this guy is. Uh, I should actually double check. So the mission editor here on the anti-submarine anti warfare patrol has that set, been set up correctly? Mission summary, yes, yes, that's fine. That should be checked. Mission doctrine is gonna be, what's our AMCON settings? So now I can very much be active, please. It's an anti summary warfare patrol, that, yeah, after all. Okay, what's going on here? Do we spot more missiles? I don't see any missiles. Oh, there they are. Surface air missiles. Streaming over here. That's on the tornadoes. The tornadoes, which I think are trying to go to the refuel point in... In... Okay. So, that needs to be... I think they're going to try... Trying going to Turkey. But you do have the range to come up here, so I would much rather like you to go where I'm asking you to go. So let's actually say that you cannot refuel. And you're going to try to get out of the engagement envelope there and then get out of here. I don't think there should really be a danger for this flight, it's, it's sufficiently far away there. But yeah, we're going to see. Right, guys. Um, you can presumably, well, firstly, drop to 200 feet. There we go. And you should also use your radars, please, to try to tackle these guys. Okay, we have finally sent some missiles against this attack on Duncan, that's good. Some people are returning home, that's also nice. Much better than the alternative. Okay, and we're not seeing anything of this. Uh, let's drop a passive one under the layer. It's been 20 minutes, so... Ooh, there's another entire salvo coming up there. That's, that's kind of ha. Huh. Well, at least we've managed to sink one of their submarines, so that was kind of nice. Um, guys, you shouldn't actually be too far away there. How many missiles can they have? Just it, That must be... I don't know. It's, it's very hard to say. A lot of missiles. 40 or 50 missiles? I think at the very least. And it's it's still increasing in amount. Harsh, really, really harsh. Okay, everyone here seems to be doing fine. Uh, you guys are returning home. Who are you? Oh, you're the Grippins, right? You're returning to this base. Yeah, that should work. 
Okay, these guys were taken out. That's nice. Oh, they were actually sent in by Duncan. I was thinking that that was uh, this light here. Who'd been sending them in. But that's okay. Uh, we can have you loiter over there and, and provide some adequate air cover. Um, guys, I'm not entirely sure why you thought that sending four missiles against a single target here would be the way to go. But at least you can retarget them and they're, all, they're sort of acquiring new targets here. Uh, but that's not going to be all of them because some of them are going to just do that slightly differently. Right, um, lads, have you go military speed, please. We do need to catch up here. It's just so many. Okay, you know what? Yeah, you guys return home. You can, you can uh, g gain some altitude here, please. Where are you actually based? Wait a minute, Larissa Air Base. I thought you were coming in from Turkey. Larissa Airways? Where, where on earth is that? Oh, it's all the way down here. Huh, well that's interesting. Yeah, that should work. Okay, infrared missiles being sent in against these guys here. Try to follow their, their flight path here a little bit more so that we can also use our 20 millimeter guns as we should. So, you guys, uh, what's your weapon range here? 40, 40 miles, right? So, yeah, that's basically where we need to be. Man, the audio on this game is is just not. <laughs> I, I'm gonna put this, is not that convincing. Not one of the strong suits. Um, by the way, you guys, didn't I ask you to refuel from this group? Oh, you can't. Okay, so probably there's 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 going to be a, a problem here. Let's see. Right, this flight has basically no 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 don't no, don't don't go back to a very high altitude here. Uh, that's that's not a good idea. Akinia base. You do want to make your way over here, and honestly, that's fine. Uh, but I want you to stay low until at least this point. So stay low, and at this point here, you can go back to a high altitude. Thank you. Don't suicide. Are you are you paneling out here? Yeah, you are diving again. That's good. Right, we have basically shot down a couple of missiles there, so. I think it is time for you guys to, to make your way north on sort of a low altitude military speed setting. Try to attack a couple more of these guys. Oh, 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 wait a minute, what's that? That sounded like a torpedo. So we have spotted this guy and we are attacking him. Interesting, I, I didn't know we, that we would be attacking something that isn't actively um, classified as hostile. So, nonetheless, let's see. Marty one over here. Can you drop an active center boy over the la layer? I just want to know what this guy is. He's 300 feet. I think he's still over the layer, but who knows. No, he might be, he might be below the layer. Yeah, that torpedo has has not acquired him. That's gonna be all right. Okay, these guys should be fine now. So I do need to remember them to to refuel because they will not make it home otherwise. Uh, but they can make it to that refuel point. I just don't want to do that right now because otherwise they're going to try to get over to Turkey, which apparently is closer. But that's not really the point here. Right, lots of missiles being shot down, but still, uh, oh guys, uh, you are on hold. Yeah, that's good. So I only, this is the F-22, I only want to basically want to attack it, have it attack uh, high value targets. Like, for example, that guy there. And I want to basically have it around here as sort of a targeting platform. Good. Uh, one doing this sort of thing here. Nice, nice, nice. 
Yeah, big question is, are we going to be able to... I, I was sure that we had at least hit Moskva. And it might be that, that she is doing a little bit worse than before. But I can't see her, actually. So what might be happening is that we have taken out some of her raider dishes. And therefore we can't really find it as easily as before. Could be. It might have been that she's went down in, in the meantime. Uh, we didn't get a damage assessment on her, but then again, we probably wouldn't. So, hmm. A couple of flankers there. Nothing much else happening over Ukraine. Um, how about you guys? You are... What are you actually? What have you got? Oh no, you are tanker. This flight? Okay, let's unassign you from the refueling and we're going to send you back. So then all of you guys can start to refuel. Uh, who are you? You are on F-15. You've got some sidewinders. I think you're returning home. No? No, you're not. How far away are you from your base? Let's let's unassign you because I don't want to burn fuel. Graphic Nathio Air Base. Uh, what's that over here? No, somewhere down here. 200 miles. Come on, guys, return home. You don't need to refuel. This is well within your range. Same here, tornadoes. Some of our tornadoes did burn a lot more fuel than others, so these guys in particular we'll need to refuel, but there's so many. I don't want to mess up the queue basically there, so we're going to wait a moment. Right guys, uh, do use your raiders. I'm kind of afraid of attracting attention here, but we do need to uh, shoot down these missiles there. Uh, speaking of shooting down, can we maybe get a better eye there on the SC-24? I would like to launch against him. Probably we can't because we must uh, obtain a firing solution. But I do not want to turn on my radar. So we're probably going to need to see whether we can get another firing solution here from one of our other sensors. So infrared or something. Yeah, you might not be able to engage the first line of uh, defenses here. But yeah, what we're going to do here is we're going to send you guys here onto the... Combat Air Patrol over the Romanian coast, and then we're going to launch you guys immediately. And uh, the same is going to be true for you guys. Just launch. Uh, speaking of you guys, didn't we have some Gripens returning? Yeah, you are doing that, in fact. So that's that's nice. Okay, so what are you guys all doing? Uh, you're on a plotted course, in fact. Um, can I actually ask you to refuel from someone over here? You guys should be starting to refuel anyway, that's that's fine. And you guys are refueling as well, good. Whew, come on. Come on, give me missiles. This helicopter, um, I'm not sure whether, probably we did sink that uh, that boat in the end, uh, that, that U boat. So in that case, you can actually return to base here, get back to Duncan. Uh, Duncan is also going to move back towards over there, which is fine. Pretty much everyone is returning home. Um, you're the maritime patrol aircraft. I don't want to use the uh, do the same mistake here as we had with the U2 at some point. Um, so let's bring you back home, uh, sort of, or at least close towards our base. You're making your way over there, nice. Whew. For the first time, I think we do have it under our control somewhat at the VR released. Right, so sooner or later we're going to be here, and at that point you're going to launch your JSOS, a range of 45 miles. That's okay, so this is how far away. So 45, that's around 70 miles from where we are, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think that looks good. And you guys, your range was, I think, 70 miles, so we need to... 75 so we need to launch you slightly earlier but we're going to be able to do that that should be okay right and um, boneheads can you maybe try try again the defensive here would be very nice to take that down that craft because I think what we're slowly doing here is we are degrading their ability to um, to acquire targets fight back at us I think that's going to be hugely 
hugely important. Uh, we've got this mobile uh, thing down here. Let's actually try to take a closer look there with our F-35. Who are you? Yeah, you, you are the guys um, who did try to refuel. Let's go back to allowing you to refuel. And at this point, you should be closer to this than, than any of the other stuff. You guys, are you are you already tossed to refuel? No, I don't think you are. So, in fact, we're going to do that immediately. So, let's send out everyone over here. And then we know that we have refueled you. If you're basically getting there. Who are you and why are you going there? Didn't I just ask you to, to come back to your base? I think I did. Graph Ignacio, right? Yes. Okay. Um, guys, I know that sometimes you err on the on the side of caution, but honestly, you don't need to. So I'm going to disallow you to refuel. Mostly because I don't want them to be stuck in and occupy one of these tankers while all of these other groups are coming in. Um, you are also tankers and you are the Eurofighter group. Yeah, you are. Nice. Okay. How far away are you? A little bit. Once we have all of these ships down and the um, the fencer here, I think we'd be in a pretty good position. Mm, someone's launching. Oh yeah, probably these guys here for the combat air patrol down here. Let's try to get them there to try to shoot down these guys. I might be coming in a little bit late here actually. Uh, so I kind of dislike that. We are running with active radar here. Um, pretty close towards the enemy, I, I, I gotta admit, I dislike that. Now, are we too faster than them? We might be. Okay, come on, boneheads. Get me a good target on the other guy there. Right, you guys are all refueling. You're gonna make your way over there. More guys starting from that base. How far off are these targets? 200 miles. I think we're going to be alright. These guys are going to make it in time. More or less. Okay, and finally we are seeing, seeing some missile launches here by this flight. That's also nice to see. I think we're going to go then um, afterwards in and maneuver towards the second group. But you've got a lot of missiles, so hopefully at least... That's going to be nice. Yeah. Whew! So, so many of these missiles. Come on, he's 30 miles off. Don't you have, doesn't the Raptor have any, any other mechanism of target acquisition other than the, his radar? Yeah, you've got the eyeball, that's no use. Yeah, you basically only have, have the radar. There's no infrared system on you at all. Okay, let's risk it. I dislike it, but let's risk it. So you're gonna turn on your radar just for a second, yeah? And that already is, is kind of a bad idea, isn't it? Okay, we've got some surface-to-air missiles here, but they're streaming south, so that's not against the boneheads, but rather against something down here, which very well might be this flight. Um, although, oh, you're at 2,000 feet. I would like it to be at 200. Um, and let's actually already ask you guys to, to fly over here. And you're going to turn off your radar here for a second. Um, hoping to get away from this surface air missile there. Okay, um, we've got another thing, and that is you have launched. So you again are going to turn off your radar. And you're going to then try to turn around. And I'm starting to realize that having the wrapped up here doesn't really make that much sense if if you are indeed not using any of that. So, it's kind of bad. It's kind of okay that they are launching because they don't really seem to be going. Yeah, they, they lost their target property there. But that's okay. So the Raptor is good at dealing with these guys, but he's not good at uh, giving us any information about the ground troops there. So, yeah. 
Uh, nevertheless, we have managed to shoot down one of their planes. There are these flankers, which might be a reason for concern. A lot of ground attacks happening there, and some over here. But we can't do much about that at this point, I'm afraid. Who are you guys? You're, you're the Italians. You are the Italians too. You should be heading to a refuel point. Yeah, you are. Got these guys who are returning home. Thank you for not wasting my fuel and not occupying my tankers. Returning home, returning home, returning home. Okay, right, you guys should circle back now. We've got a single missile here and single uh, AIM 120, so I don't think we need that actually, but um, since you are also disobeying my orders to go at 200 feet, Feed, thank you. Um, I would very much appreciate if you could come back to that. Because 20, 20 missiles being shot down by 20, mm, 20 millimeter guns would also be super, super nice. Good. Bonehead's doing fine over here. These flankers are, I think, trying to intercept us. But we shouldn't worry about that too much because we're not going to be here for that long. That one is being fired off. Come on, guys. Uh, military speed. You need, to, you need to keep up with these guys. Or better, even overtake them. Slightly annoying thing is that they've got this weird formation. But... Okay, let's keep an eye on the SQ. Yeah, you guys are really, really trying to intercept us here. Uh, and we've got a lot of missiles being sent over there by whom? Why? Oh no, you might actually be able to reach them. You might. I'm not sure. No, you're the JSOLs. Ah, yeah, you're the JSOLs, but you also had a M120, so that's cool. Okay, uh, we are 50 miles away from these guys, so let's start by targeting these guys here uh, with our harpoons, which are out of weapon range. Oh, that's awkward. That's really awkward. What's going on here? Do you burn your fuel? No. It's unassigned from anything. Let's go here. Let's go flank speed. Yeah, okay. Weird bug. I'll try to get closer there. Um, you guys can actually try to be a little bit slower here. And I'm thinking that these SK 27s here. I'm not sure what they are doing, especially this one over here. He's diverted a little bit. He's. No, they are coming down here. Okay, you know what? Let's try to get away. As as nice as it is to to have these 20 millimeter guns here, um, trained onto these things, I don't think it's it's worthwhile to lose a plane for that. Could have used, of course, used the F-22 to actually attack them here and, and sort of try to take them out. It wouldn't be the worst idea. Yeah, okay, we've identified this here as some missile artillery. That's cool. Didn't we have a ground yet? Yeah, these guys. Let's try to get them over Ukraine itself, please. Okay, more missiles being sent to the south here, uh, because you guys did the stupid thing and tried to go very high. And you're going to be punished for that, and I'm not sure why, because I'm sure I didn't tell you. Okay, I think we did shake them, but I would still like to come home in one piece, so let's try to do that. Right, um, you can try to get away a little bit here because I think these guys are still potentially trying to engage us. No, they they did bleed off some of their speed, so that's that's nice at least. Right, okay, so the next one is going to be 
you guys over here. Um, you've got the Sightwinders, you're going to try to attack these guys, that's going to be alright. Um, you guys are also going to try to go more on an intercept course here. And you guys are also going to try to make it over there. It's going to be tough to try to take them out all uh, one by one, but let's see. Right, can we attack here? Yes, we can, so let's go ahead and do that. Right, there we go. One by one they should now start to launch against these ships. And once that has happened, we are going to use you guys here to be please on low altitude. I want, don't want you to be dispersed here. Clankers are still around here. That's probably another recon craft that I certainly want to take out if possible. And once these missiles are 40 miles away, we're going to launch uh, these guys too. So that being said, I think this is a good place to put in a cut. So next time we're going to see whether we can take care of the rest of this fleet. Um, I'm very intrigued to see whether that's going to work, but uh, I don't know yet, so let's see. And that being said, hope you enjoyed watching, and I hope to see you around next time. Bye-bye, guys.